But they know what's at stake. Three points could be huge for either side in terms of their ambitions of European competition next season. West Ham, they're on course to qualify for a fourth consecutive campaign. Surely the ideal motivation to end a run of just one win in nine Premier League visits here to St James's Park. Always willing to come in field, Anthony Gordon. Three claret shirts around him. Still manages to pick out Cher and goes down. Referee says penalty. No doubts in the minds of referee Rob Jones. What did you make of it? Yeah, well, Anthony Gordon, he's done so well there. You said he likes to drive inside. Well, this time he went outside and the deflection was blocked. But as you can see here, Anthony Gordon's the first to react. And it, I think the, the referee, Rob Jones, was in the perfect position to actually see it. That Soufal has clearly made contact. Away at Everton, but the last five career penalties from Alexandra Isak. Yet to miss in Newcastle colours. That statistic remains. Newcastle United are the only Premier League side to score in every single home game. And it gives them a firm stranglehold on this match. Newcastle 1, West Ham 0. Well, Isak, probably the calmest man inside St James's Park. You saw the five penalties that he'd taken previously. None of them were tucked away in the corner. He normally likes to wait until the goalkeeper makes a decision and goes one way. Well, hence why you didn't see many of them right in the far corner. Well, take a look at this. Murphy has an overlap should he choose to use it. Comes back to Guimaraes. Isak! Very little backlift, got the shot off like any good striker would do, Michael. Cher, straight to Socek. Antonio, lovely improvisation, can he get the shot off? He can. That was lovely. Emerson picks out Antonio. Has support from Kudus. Referee happy to play the advantage. Pakita goes over the top, Antonio's in, the assistant flag stays down, chance to level things! Dispatched expertly by West Ham striker. A lot to appreciate about that move, the ball from Pakita, but the composure from the Jamaican international. He scores in back-to-back -back Premier League games for the first time this season, but more importantly, Newcastle won. West Ham won. When he gets the ball here, he's able to get his head up and he just watches the run here as he turns. He sees the movement there. Antonio times are absolutely perfect and he's not going to miss this opportunity when he's one-on-one -on -one with Dubravka. And that is a lovely, calm, cool finish. But the timing of the run in the pass, you've just got to admire from Pakita the way he picked him out. Well, he spent a long time on the sidelines himself, Mikel Antonio. Came back in February, and he has most definitely rediscovered that goal-scoring form, his fourth of the season. I mean, it's a lovely angle there, just to see. He waits for Dubravka to commit himself. He gives it a little bit of height, which takes it away from the foot. Gordon, a roar from the home crowd once he has the ball at his feet, tries to pick his spots. Comfortable save for Ariola. Unsure which direction to head into. Finds Longstaff. Murphy floats in, the ball and Gordon! Well, they did oh so well to keep eyes on that because Isak was immediately in front of him. But it is a West Ham set-piece to be taken by James Ward-Prowse. Looking for Socek, falls to Zuma. Bowen! Snapshots, neat save from Dubravka. Being roared on by the home support. Swede thought about the shots. Finds Murphy. Ball was fired in by Longstaff. And that's worked out well here for Newcastle. Longstaff wanted an option outright. Back to Willick. Willick takes on the shots, but... Never really able to generate enough power to trouble Alphonse Ariola. Full-blooded, 
can Newcastle end the half on a high? Gordon, Isak's the only one in front of him, wants to go alone. Kimaresh, crowd want him to shoot. Finds Murphy, back to Kimaresh! Rattles the frame of West Ham's goal. And in amongst all the noise, he didn't get the cry of man on, and Kudus is trying to weave some magic here. He's away from Byrne. Has he got the strength? Shoulder to shoulder. What a game, what a Michael. Game. <laughs> end to end. Bowen. Kudus! Quick thinking from the visitors means that in stoppage time in the first half, they've come from behind. Well, the Newcastle player's on, happy because Rob Jones has let the player go on when Cher was down with a head injury, holding his face. But there's no taking away that West Ham. Smart, clever play. And the finish from Kouros. De Gravka got a hand to it, but it was hit with so much power that he was getting nowhere near. As you would have seen, the action continued. Clear indication from the referee. West Ham free kick. Pakitari Dez, who plays a lovely ball around the back of Livramento. Bowen's layoff, first time strike from Kudus. Well, you were just saying that Jared Bourne, we haven't seen the best of him in this first half. Well, that is the best of Jared Bourne because the pace to get in behind, the awareness to drive inside, and then the little touch for Kudus. What can Jacob Murphy? offer up in terms of delivery. An early test for the substitute, Fabianski. Byrne was the target. West Ham are able to come away through Kudus. Stretches away from Cher. He's got no support. Oh, he has. I was about to say he's got no support, but Jaron Bowen in. Is he going to be one-on-one? -on -one? The England and finds the back of the net. Directs his eyeline to those travelling supporters away at the top of the Leasy stands. Question marks once again from the Newcastle United back line, but clinical finishing from the Hammers. Barely two and a half minutes played in the second half. Newcastle one, West Ham three. Start to finish here. They deal with it so well, West Ham, but Kudas, watch this, one challenge. Second challenge, they can't stop him. And then as he looks up, he sees Jared Bowen all free, onside. And then he's driving towards the heart of the goal. It's two or three lovely touches. He doesn't allow Livermento to get cover. And he finds the bottom corner tremendous. That's a man in form. That's 15 for the season in the Premier League for Jared Bowen. And I talked about him and Anthony Gordon before the start of the game. I was looking forward to seeing both players. It was Gordon that couldn't get back to stop the man getting his 15th of the season. Kimaresh, slightly heavy first touch, but able to recover. So many bodies back for West Ham. Almiron, cut back, oh! Longstaff just could not sort out his feet. Gordon, that's a teasing delivery to the back post, and that's an excellent save from Lucas Fabianski. Barnes anticipates it, but watch this save from Fabianski. I mean, he's only come on half-time. He hasn't had much to do, and that is a world-class save. We'll get a good angle of it from here. Murphy. Gordon. Great delivery. Barnes, can he get the striker where he can? Gimaresh. Longstaff. Phillips dwell too long. Gordon's gone down. Well, more work for VAR in Stockley Park. Rob Jones has been told to head over to the monitor. So, so what they're going to discuss here is the fact that, you, you know, we've just discussed there. He has stepped across Calvin Phillips. He's put his leg in front. There's no ball contact. And Phillips is in the motion of trying to clear the ball. I mean, it's a nasty collision, but actually Calvin Phillips is already in the moment of trying to strike the ball out of his area, and he can't pull out of that. Well, it's pretty obvious from these pictures that there's no intent from Calvin Phillips. But it is deemed a foul. 
This to make it 2-3. Ice cool from Newcastle United's number 14. Well, he executed it again in the far corner, Isak. He waited this time a little bit more of a delay from Fabianski to dive. Socek battling with Byrne. Bowen closing down the space. Doesn't get the throw. Here's Byrne. Barnes in behind to draw us all level! <laughs> Do not adjust your screen. This is really happening. What an absolute barnstorming game we're witnessing here. Newcastle three, West Ham three. Incredible scenes at St James's Park. Just keep your eye on Barnes. He runs inside Soufal. He's the man that plays him on. It's very similar to the first goal we saw from Antonio when he broke through the gap of the fullback of the Newcastle defence line. The pass from Isak is marvellous. And Barnes, when he's one on one for Fabianski, he has a little look up. He sees where the goalkeeper is and he puts it through his legs. Fabianski couldn't shut them. What a game we've got. Well, Harvey Barnes, his first ever Premier League goal came against West Ham. That was in the colours of Leicester City. Gordon. Isak. Clipped over. Gordon gets there before Zuma. Nice. Lovely strike! Harvey Barnes! Delivers an absolute supreme super sub performance. Off the bench to pluck a rabbit out of the hat and maybe hand Newcastle United all three points. Newcastle four, West Ham three. My word. Yeah, you'll see, Gordon just backing into Zoom, he can't get near it. He waits for the support. And then this little touch here to open up the space, he uses the defender to blindside Fabianski. And from this angle, the side net, and you're just going to see it ripple. 4-3 Newcastle, wow. Well, you always have reservations that when a player returns and the manager deems them only suitable for the subs bench, are they quite at it, are they quite up to match speed? Harvey Barnes has answered that question and some absolute scenes here. But I know one thing, you've just called it, this game was going to go into the archives as a Premier League classic. Kudus. Head up, looking for options, and he's found Socek! Who was a chest away from levelling things up. Well, that's the chance we were on about. The ball in here, the in-swinger, it catches everybody out. Another look at the watch. Pakitar's cross. It's going to fall to Kudis, who slipped. And Hall somehow helps it clear. The referee does bring this enthralling contest to an end. 1-0 up, 3-1 down. Newcastle United have completed a comeback to last the Premier League ages. Harvey Barnes with two off the bench to support two spot kicks from Alexander Isak. Means full-time here at St James's Park. It's finished. Newcastle 4, West Ham 3.